Anytime you're trying to introduce a new technical concept into your hand, you're going to have to go through a three-phase process. And the uh, three parts of this process are, number one, develop the feel for the technique. Number two, develop continuity for the technique. And number three, develop consistency over the technique. Now, the idea of developing feel, this is a time when you incorporate the technique into your fingers. And much like we um, described in the previous video, where as it pertains to collapsible joint rest stroke, what you're trying to do is set the finger, allow the collapsing of the joint, and then play, you are trying to walk yourself through the same process in this particular case. So that is how you uh, build the feel for the technique. And even though you may be a competent player, you may have to do this one finger at a time as your fingers are not familiar with the technique. Then the second aspect is to bring continuity over this idea. And what that means is, is very simple. Um, the feel was of this, this technique of collapsible joint rest stroke was described in three parts. Uh, setting the finger, allowing the collapsing, and then playing. Now, the idea of continuity would mean that you, instead of feeling this in three parts, that you feel this as one single continuous motion. So instead of setting, collapsing, and playing, you would have simply an act of playing that would fulfill all of the parts. Now, um, once you're able to do that, then the next part is building consistency. And building consistency has two phases, uh, two principles. The first one is um, number of repetitions, and then the second one is tempo. These two aspects are inversely proportional. And what that means is that the slower the tempo you use, the, the higher the number of repetitions you will be able to create consistently. Whereas the, ha the faster the tempo you use, the lower the number of repetitions you will be able to create consistently. So you always have to pick a tempo that allows you a higher number of repetitions. So, you know, and that's how you build the consistency. So a um, simple idea would be to use a chromatic scale as the guitar is primarily a chromatic instrument. So you take this with one finger, let's try the index finger, and we're going to play as follows. After you finish one string, then you can try this on a second string, for example, continue on the second string, or you can also try this as a chromatic scale on one string and then move to another, another string. And then another way to do this after you've been able to create consistency with each finger, then is to introduce the idea of alternation to it. So then you play as follows. set then work on improving the tempo increase the tempo and see if you can build greater consistency that way I hope you were able to find useful information in these videos this concludes our series on the collapsible joint rest stroke if you have any questions about this topic please feel free to write a message through the contact section in this website and please stay tuned for new videos on new topics that will be released in the future thanks for watching